Hey, it's the preacher. I'm just having a sip of coffee out of my Mount Rushmore mug. So today, I am cooking for the church, the church that I'm the interim pastor at. And I've never cooked for this group of people. So you want to start off on your first time to cook, you want to start off with a surefire recipe. You know, one that you're pretty sure most people are going to like. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm starting off with a recipe that's easy to make big. And I'm making a quadruple batch. So I'm making four batches in one. And uh, you'll kind of notice a theme of fours here, okay? The first thing you need to start off with, if you're going to make a pasta casserole, uh, you're going to start off with pasta. Otherwise, it's not a pasta casserole. I have four pounds of macaroni noodles. And I'm using macaroni noodles because they're easy to scoop. If you use spaghetti noodles, they're long, they're stringy. I'm serving in a buffet line. It can get really messy if you're using long noodles or big fat noodles. So macaroni noodles are easy to scoop and serve in a buffet style line. So I've got four pounds of noodles. I've got four jars of sauce. And uh, I'm using the tomato, basil, garlic, uh, Reggiano. I don't get it at all. It's like 99 cents a jar. So there you go. Then I have one pound of Italian sausage already browned and I have three pounds of ground meat already browned and seasoned. So you notice in a the theme, four pounds of noodles, four jars of sauce, four pounds of meat. And you can, you can use ground turkey, you can use chicken, whatever you want to use. I just know if I'm doing beef, it's kind of nice to do about uh, three to one or four to one ground beef to sausage, it just gives it a little bit more flavor. Now cheese, I have, yes, count them, one, two, three, four cheeses as well. And so I've got cream cheese, which I've had setting out and it's getting soft. I've got some grated or shredded Parmesan cheese. I've got some ricotta. Ricotta is, um, it's just kind of a really soft cheese. It's what you see in lasagna, the, the white cheese that's usually layered in there. Then I've got mozzarella, and this is primarily for the top to melt over the top um, when we do it. So, basic ingredients here. You need four, if you're going to make a quadruple batch, let's say you're going to make a regular batch. <clears throat> you need a pound of noodles, a jar of sauce, a pound of meat, and some cheese. And I'm using four cheeses because I want it creamy. Now, here's what else I'm adding. This is sautéed squash, zucchini, and onions that I've also seasoned with Italian seasoning. So this is a whole other layer of flavor. I may or may not add this. Depends on if it needs it. This is a package of zesty Italian seasoning. You can use any Italian seasoning. Matter of fact, if you just go buy cheap uh, pasta sauce, don't get tomato sauce, pasta sauce. It's got mainly tomatoes and some flavor in it. And you add a 25 cent pack of Italian seasoning to it, you've just made $5 pasta sauce for buck 25. Either way, I'm gonna be, I may or may not add this, depends on if it needs it, and then sour cream. Sour cream just kinda helps marry everything together. I won't use a whole lot, uh, but I'll use enough just to kinda soften everything and bring it together and then I've got everything laid out because with this many ingredients, I'll forget it if I don't. So the meat's cooked, I'm going to start the pasta cooking, and then we'll stir all of these ingredients together, and then all we got to do is combine the sauce and the pasta. And so I'll bring you back when we do that, kind of show you how we assemble it, and then how we plan to serve it. And you just figure one of these serves eight people. So if I make four of these, that serves 32. And then I'm going to do a, I'm gonna do two pans of chicken um, Alfredo, and then just two pans of just plain old spaghetti noodles, meat, and sauce. You know, if some Methodists stop by or something, you know, people that don't, picky eaters that aren't Baptist. So this will be the primary meal. There's a quadruple batch of this, then a double batch of, of um, chicken alfredo and a double batch of just plain spaghetti and meat and sauce. Anyways, I won't show you that. I'll bring you back when we start combining all this together, show you what it looks like. Okay, there's our, this is a big skillet and I've got four pounds of meat in it. Three pounds of the burger and the pound of Italian sausage and I'm not cooking it, I'm just warming it up. 
so that everything will blend together and we can add our pasta. Okay, so I've got three jars of sauce mixed in here with four pounds of noodles. I got a little watered down sauce here where I kind of swished out all the jars. Now I've got this whole pan of meat, cream cheese, sour cream. You saw everything that went in there. Now we need to incorporate that into our noodles. And you're going to need a for real spoon. If you're going to move four pounds of noodles around, four pounds of meat around, all the sauce and everything else. That's heavy. All right. I'll bring you around here. You can watch me stir it in. Kind of had to pull you guys out of the way because uh, steaming it up. But let's mix those noodles in with that meat sauce. Okay, it's kind of thick, and I know I'm going to be heating it up in a, a steam oven or a warmer oven, so I'm going to go ahead and add this watered-down sauce. That will thin it down a little bit and get most of the sauce out of these jars. Now, the, the key here is to get a little scoop of everything and see what we need to add. Pretty good scoop. Well, it looks hot. Hmm. I added very little Parmesan. Not everybody likes Parmesan, but there's four pounds of meat. <laughs> there's four jars of sauce, and there's four uh, pounds of pasta in here. So we can add some more Parmesan. And all this is really doing is giving us some saltiness, and it's melting in that and giving us some body so it kind of sticks together, strings up a little bit, thickens if you, want, if you will. And I didn't add very much to start with so I'm adding some more now. I'm going to add half of this packet of Italian seasoning. Well that smells good. Well there's what you end up with. A four batch <clears throat> makes a full steam pan and a half steam pan. And that's a that's a fourfold batch or quadruple batch. Now I'm just going to sprinkle that top with mozzarella cheese. And if you're going to serve this now, just go ahead and load it up and stick it in the oven and just melt that top down. I'm actually going to put these in a warmer and keep them there so I'll be covering the top of this with parchment paper and then aluminum foil over the top and that'll lock that moisture in. You really need to melt the cheese on the top if you're going to serve this as a casserole later because the cheese will help hold in some of that moisture after it melts together. You can put as much or as little cheese as you want on the top. I'm using mozzarella but you know if you want to do cheddar or provolone or whatever you like that's up to you. The main thing is you need something on the top to lock that moisture in or you'll end up getting real dried out tough pasta when it's all said and done. And we don't want that. Tell you what, let me put just a little more on there. I'm like that little kid in the commercial. More cheese please. So I don't remember what that was off of but Seems like I remember at some point in my childhood here in a commercial where they said more cheese please. Well there you have it, the Preacher's Pasta Mac Casserole. I, um, I've made several different versions of this all pretty much with the same ingredients, just a little more of this, a little less of that. But you try it, use whatever cheese you want, use whatever meat you want, use whatever noodles you want. Um, and there again, 
Everything is to taste. If, if I think I need more, I add more. The main thing is, use lots of seasoning. I used all of these seasonings, varying levels, just packaged Italian seasoning. I have this bulk Italian seasoning I get at Sam's, it's Tones brand. It's just a mixture of Italian spices. I use this Goya adobo seasoning. It seems like it's real heavy on oregano, but I love it. And then this Kinder, Kinder's Italian Chop House. And man, this stuff smells really good. It has a lot of salt in it, so you got to be careful with it. But by and large, all of this right here, and I just seasoned everything that I cooked, except the sausage. But when I cooked the hamburger, seasoned it. When I cooked the... Uh, the squash and zucchini seasoned it. Uh, the, the noodles, salt in the water, everything gets seasoned and then in the end if I need more I'll add a package and go from there but that's basically how I do it. Hope you guys will try it. Let me know in the comments if you want to change something, if you'd leave something out, whatever you think. Um, you guys always have great recommendations so I've got a Baptist dinner to go to tonight. See you guys later. Well, don't forget this. Be sure and write what it is. Otherwise, you'll be peeking under a lot of aluminum foil trying to find that pasta mac. Let's see what you can see.